In today's video, what I'd love to share with you is my number one favorite new local SEO tool. Now, this local SEO tool I'm going to give to you, I'll give you the download link, it's down below on where you can get this script to find the most authoritative citations, the most authoritative directories, also location specific and niche specific directories that are the most authoritative that your leading competition has. So if you stick with me in this video, I'll give you the script, I'll share with you how to use the script, and I'll give you the strategy of why this is important. So my name is Chris Palmer, and you can down download the script at seomastermind.org. If you click on free, it's the number one thing that's right here, local citation SEO script. Download the script completely free. Now, what strategy I wanna share with you today is how you can find the most authoritative citations and digital references online that your leading competition has. Probably about 90 days ago, I shared a strategy on finding the indexed and most authoritative directories and citations by literally coming into a SERP. Let's say for instance, that we're searching for, um, you know, car accident lawyer, um, Austin, right? Let's say you're a car accident lawyer. It doesn't matter what niche you're in, what category. If you are a business owner, you want to rank in maps and you also want to rank organically. One of the key ingredients to this is building digital references, also known as directories and citations. So what you want to do is you want to go to the top three competitors inside of maps and inside of organic search, just so you, just in case you don't know. This is the map pack, okay? And this down here is called the, the SERPs or the search engine results page. This is the mapper, this is the organic results. So the primary goal here is to rank in these spots, right? So what you'll do is you'll find, okay, who's the top performers or the leading competition in the maps and who's the top five here? And what you wanna do is you wanna gather up the names and addresses of the top performing websites like this. So you'll go to this business and what you'll do is you'll copy their address like this and also their name. Okay. So this one's Lopez law and I don't know who these businesses are. It's just for, um, it's just for an example. All right. So I grabbed one just, just to save some time, but here you'll, you'll make a list top three competitors in maps, top five in organic. What we're looking for is the most authoritative citations and directories that they have, all right? And you wanna be able to do it fast and quick, right? Effortlessly. So we'll grab this and then this is uh, Lopez Law, all right? So you'll, you'll grab their name and then you'll grab their address and you could grab their phone number too, but for sake of time, again, top three in maps, top five organically. And this needs to be done for each keyword to pick out the most authoritative. Because what you'll find is, and this is the old method that I shared with you. You can do this in Scrapebox or inside of the search results, but what you'll all, all you would do is you would type all in text, colon, and then you would put this address, right? Like, so this is Lopez Law, 15, all in text. And what you would look for is the most authoritative sources. So Yelp, Better Business, Just they're listed on Justia, they have a Google free site, they're on the state board in Texas, right? And what you would do is you would gather this up one by one by one by one and make yourself an authority list from your competitors, right? And then what you would do is you would go and build those because winners look like winners. You have to look like a winner, get in the link graph, right? I have to have the same stuff that the competitors have or at least look like I do in order to perform higher but this is very time consuming. So the, my favorite new tool or script is actually something that a, a friend of mine gave to me. I don't know where he got it from, but it's a collaboratory script that I'm going to give to you for free at, again, seomastermind.org. Go here to free, and then you can download it. Now I'm going to share with you how to use it and how it works and why it's so awesome. Okay. So here's what you're going to want to do. After you download this list, right? You'll click free download, it's free. Okay, I got it for free, I'll give it to you. What you'll do is you need to go over to Google Collab. 
let me share with you how this works. So you go to Google Collab. Google Collab is free depending on how much resource you need. You're just running a script to check citations. You should be fine as long as you have a Google account. You'll open up Google Collab. And what you'll want to do is come up here to the new notebook. Click on new notebook. All right. And then I'll share with you what you need to do in order to get this to run. All right. So what you're going to get is you're going to get a notepad that looks just like this. There's one, two, three, four sections that you're going to need to add. Here's, here's what you need to do. So you're going to grab this, copy, add it right here, paste. Then what you want to do is you want to hover. Here, let's get rid of this. You'll hover here and a box should pop up right here. All right, you click on the code button, grab the next piece, one, two, there's four. There's two, then you go here, three, four. So here's the number three one, all right? Or the third one, I should say. Number of links, so this is the number of links that we want to come, right? So or how many citations or directories? number of links, and then the last one, make sure you put this in. You'll copy this whole thing right out of the notepad, just like this, copy, and then paste, okay? So there's one, two, three, four total sections. The next thing is you'll wanna come up here to the very top and name it, you know, my citation finder from Chris Palmer, or whatever you want, okay? And remember, chrispalmer.org, we have you covered. If you need citations built, directories, press releases, guest posts, Haro links, anything. Go to chrispalmer.org. We have you covered, all right? But enough about me. So you're going to put these four inside of here, all right? And then remember that list you compiled of the three in maps and then the five in the SERPs? Well, what you want to do here is you want to grab that list, all right? So let's just say it was this particular business. This was the number two ranker. You'll take away all the commas because if you want to run more than one keyword or more than one address, you'll put a comma. So you take out all the commas like this and then see this one here that has the two red quotes under keywords. Put that address inside of there. Now make sure it's in one line like this. So I move this over. See how it's all red now? This here is what we're searching for. After you put that inside of there, what you'll want to do is you want to come up here to runtime and click run all. All right, give it a second. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a list of the most authoritative citations and directories that this leading competitor has all in a list. See, now you can set this number to be bigger if you want a larger list. But mind you, if you're using the free collab, they might cut you off. It's much better to run 50 to 60 at most at a time. So I hope this is helpful for finding the niche-specific citations, location-specific citations. This is a great free local SEO tool. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to go ahead and ask in the section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next My Favorite Local SEO Tool video. Have a blessed day. Hopefully this is helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.